Hi, so uh, today I'm going to be showing um, art supplies that I use most often for my videos and just work, like art that I do outside of my videos. Um, and I'm just going to go through them. All of the art supplies will be like linked in the description. Um, and I'm going to try and rate them from like 1 to 10 stars. I don't well, no, one to five. We'll do, we'll do one to five. Um, so, yeah. No intros. Intros are stupid. Okay, so the first thing that I use most often, obviously, even though I don't, I don't use it all the time, but I use, I've been using it most often, especially now that I've started my channel, but, um, obviously paper, you know, the stuff from trees. Um, so the sketchbook that I use is the Ohuhu spiral bound um, marker paper that's especially for Ohuhu markers which we'll get to those later because those um, we'll get to that um, there's like 60 sheets yeah and um, I just really like this paper like I was doing Inktober which unfortunately I hadn't started my channel yet so I couldn't um, do that on camera but I uh, this is not a sketchbook tour, but um, obviously I did. It's all ink, and I used a lot of this. I'm showing that because it's not going to be shown in this video. But I used a lot of ink, and as you can see, there's no bleed through, like at all. And obviously, they always include um, marker, like marker um, protectors on the back. Like they include them with. The set of marker, they're all all of their sets of markers and all of their um, sketchbooks, and it kind of protects the back of the paper because, as you can see, it didn't bleed through obviously at all, but it showed like it could, and especially when you're using their markers, which have a blender that can obviously make it bleed through much more. I liked this one, but anyways, um, it's good that they at least include something in case it does bleed through. So they're definitely prepared for that. So I really like these uh, marker pads. The only other ones that I would use are like the multimedia paper, which I'm pretty sure lots of people, especially on YouTube, like those. Um, but I definitely do a lot. So that's the sketchbook that I've been using for like the past two years because I got two of these and they last me a while. So yeah. And for this, I would rate it like, um, probably like an uh, nine, probably a nine, eight point five, nine, nine point five, something like that. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, next up, we have, of course, my Ohuhu markers. Oh boy, okay, that did not work. <laughs> but you can kind of see my Ohuhu markers. I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't remember how many are in this pack. I think it might be like a hundred and twenty. I wanted to get. Um, a lot more, but I would not, I didn't want the bullet nib. The bullet nibs, I feel like those would drive me insane, but I probably, sh I'm pretty sure I'll get them in the future. Now that I've tried these, I think it would be worth it for the more color selection. Yeah, it's 120, that's okay. Yeah, and I love these swatch cards, by the way. And funny thing, I swatched all of the markers on a separate piece of paper, and then I found these in there, and I swatched them all again. But I use these every time because I have short-term memory loss, basically. Um, not really, but you know, um, so I use these every time I do a marker installation, which you'll find a lot of them on my channel, but just cause they're really simple and easy and when I want to put a video out, but they are really helpful to finding skin tones. This R18 is one I, that's R19, R18 is one I use a lot. So love that. Um, yeah, you can kind of see that better. Sorry, the camera wasn't focused. Um, so yeah, and obviously I don't know how to color in the lines. You've seen that from my Sailor Moon videos. Um, oh, that fell. Um, so anyways, um, and obviously these work incredible with the Ohuhu marker pads, which I just showed a second ago, but they work just incredible. Like these are my favorite markers ever. Before this, I was using Tombow water-based markers and tried to use them for portraits and it was bad it was really bad and i told myself i'll get every single set of those and then i've tried a hoo, hoo and i'm never going back to those 
I've never tried Copics, so I can't really compare them to those, though these are what seems to be the best alternative. And of course, they're alcohol-based, so they're incredible, though. They're, I love Ohuhus. They're amazing. And I also have an easel from Ohuhu, which I'm not mentioning in this video, which is why I'm mentioning it now. But the products that I've tried from Ohuhu, just spectacular. Love them. But, um, and this black, I use it all the time, has not dried out yet. So, there's that. And, uh, so yeah, I just really like these. Um, I'll probably do, if I ever get another set, I'll do a review on those. But since I've already had these for a while, obviously I can't pretend, oh, I'm unboxing. So, um, yeah, I just really, I really like these and I use them all the time. So you can see those in the videos. I can, I might link the one, the videos I've used them in. But honestly, I've used them in so many that would basically be half my channel. So, anyways, for these, I would rank them 9.5 to 10. Really good. Really good. Love these. All right. <laughs> okay, next off, um, I want to show these because they're... I got these a long time ago, and there was only... I'm just going to say one thing, which is probably why I get a little smaller rating, is because there was one dead, I think maybe 1.2... <laughs> dead dry markers in this, or uh, pens in this set. These are the Arteza Inconic 120 Premium pens. I love these. Um, I was using Micron for a long time, obviously. I think I have one. Yeah, I have one right here. Micron. But they all died. I think they all died. This one, it's barely there, but you know what I mean. So, I used those for the longest time, and then I was like, I'm just going to get this, because I saw actually a Megan Waller video where she did, she used these on a Kermit <laughs> uh, mandala, and I just immediately wanted these, because I really, she got me into mandalas, and I really wanted to be able to do a lot of them. I ended up not using these for mandalas, I kind of, by the time I got them, I was kind of already out of that phase, but, and I don't know where the one is, but, oh, <laughs> it's right here. Um. So yeah, I just really like these, and I've been trying to keep them all facing the right way because it looks nice, okay, um, but there's like a really excellent color selection on these, and I just want to show you, the only thing that I, this is just going to happen with Microns and all other pens that are like these ones, but let me just take a random color, but if you take one of these and as you can see you can do it excellent dun, da, da. but on the sides well I guess this one but sometimes when I'm doing videos it might just be because that pen like the black pen that I use sometimes it won't do it on the sides and I immediately have to switch and go like that which is uncomfortable to do in a video but how it, it's still incredibly incredibly high quality and there's amazing color selection. There's three trays. These are the cool tones, warm tones, and then the greens, browns, and blacks are in grays are on the bottom. So I don't want to make a mess everywhere, so I'm just going to put these back. And there's a little in order. And they were just, it was just like one pink, which I wouldn't use all the time that was dead, but I don't, I personally don't care about that. And I'm sure, like, if you were to order it again, it would probably be fine. Um... But yes, great color selection. That's one thing that I would definitely mention multiple times because those videos that I've been making recently, the shorts of me drawing OCs, for those I like to use the color because they're all based around a certain color in particular. Like for red, I'd look in here and I tried to find, instead of just doing them all in black, A, because I don't want to use up my black pen, and B, just because I want to match the color scheme as well as possible. So I look within this and find the color, the darkest shade of red, and it's very easy to find, because there's immediately, you can just see, and it's like this one is probably the one I used in that one. But yes, just love these pens a lot. So, and I have this, I don't really know how this helps, but I guess it helps with shipping. But yes, um, and it's water-based ink, and I haven't really tried them with watercolors because I hate watercolors personally. I will never use, I, I'm not gonna say I'll never use it in a video, but I probably won't anytime soon. Give me a thousand subscribers and I'll do watercolor. How about that? Okay. Um, for these, I would rate them 8.5. 
8.5, I think. 8 or 8.5. So, there you go. Yeah. Arteza is Okay, next is an art supply that I haven't used on this channel yet, but again, I only have, like, I don't know, 15 or something videos? I don't know. But, um, I'm, I'm not counting. But, point is, um, I do realistic portraits, which I haven't shown at all, other than my Olivia Rodrigo portrait for just a minute, which I could probably show on camera for a second. But, these are the Prismacolor Premier, um, let me just brighten that up, sorry. Okay, Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. I like these a lot. These are my favorite colored pencils. The first Prismacolor, obviously the color selection is incredible and you can see which ones I've used the most. But um, I started, the first ones that I used of Prismacolor were um, Scholar colored pencils. Um, these, uh, ignore that, please. Um, <laughs> these are also incredible, but I could definitely tell the difference in quality. These were much harder to blend, and obviously that's the reason why they're scholar. It's because they're more used for like in a school art class setting. Other than like professional artists would definitely use Premier, and I haven't compared the Premier to say. Arteza's pencils, or Carne d'Ache, or, I don't know what I say, Carmen d'Ache, um, or Faber-Castell, or any of that. I just went straight to Prismacolor because I heard that they were the best, and I got as many of them as possible, but in between this and this, I also got these, which, so I guess it was a little bit better that I just went small to medium to large than how I did with the Ohuhus, where I'd never tried them before, and I just smacked right into it, but... These, um, and I always pick from here in case I'm running low on a color in here. And I actually have this, which I've used, I think, in a couple videos. But this is from, I believe, this one. But it's the same pencil. It's just from a different set of the same pencil. Obviously, they even have the same everything. But this is 48 set. This is 150. But I use these all the time, and I'm not, I'm, I'm learning with our realistic portraits, um, but they always turn out really well when I, when they turn out well, they turn out well because of these pencils. It's like 40% skill, um, <laughs> and the rest, I'm not going to do math right now, um, these pencils. <laughs> So, and I can actually show you this, for example, this is a drawing I've been showing on my channel, uh, Dua Lipa portrait. This was like the second, the, uh, Lola, the second um, portrait that I've done with Prismacolor, like seriously, and I think this turned out really well, turned out better than the charcoal version did, and um, yeah, and I think I even used those Arteza uh, pins on the eyelashes, but the detail and the skin tones and everything just turned out really well, I think. The blending could use some work, but that's just me. That's that's my problem. That's the 40% give or take skill on this. Um, <laughs> so, very happy with uh, these pencils. And I just stubbed on my toe. But anyways, the important thing is, I would give these a... 9.5 to 10. Um, 9.5 just because I don't, I haven't compared them to anything else other than their own brand of um, purposefully lower quality uh, pencils. I mean, the only thing I have to compare it to is Crayola, which obviously I haven't experimented with in a while, but I would still, obviously, these are far better and their blending is moi, chef's kiss. Incredible. So, 9.5 to 10 love these a lot so I'm saying that about everything but yeah okay up next is what I I actually haven't been using um, this much often or at all because I didn't those portraits I showed you obviously I did them on like construction paper it was before I had this which is the Strathmore tone tan 50 sheet sketchbook which I haven't done pretty much anything in I've done like two things 
this, which I hated, so I just moved on. And this, which I didn't get the chance to finish because I now can't find the reference photo because I lost it in my Google tabs. So now I'm mad about that, but I think it, obviously I did these with my Prismacolors. I was really liking this. I was very happy with this. I was glad how the eyelashes were turning out. I was doing them a different way. And I used those pens again because I love them. And um, I guess this isn't terrible, but I just, eh, didn't like it. Point is, this is a great, I love Strathmore. This is not the first time I've used Strathmore. Strathmore, that's, love it. And <laughs> I actually used Prismacolors on a Strathmore sketch, but they fell apart, and I don't have all the pages for it right now. But I love Strathmore on with uh, colored pencils. But obviously I didn't use them before, uh, when I was doing my a bunch of realistic portraits, like, and even just realistic eyes. This is a piece of cardboard with painted white on it. Um, <laughs> so, I didn't use Strathmore yet. I didn't have this sketchbook. I didn't go to Michael's and get this yet, so. And I haven't been doing realistic portraits lately, so I haven't used it recently. But I love Strathmore, so I would give this a 9.5. Or, yeah. I think maybe a 10. Maybe a 10. I would say 10. Strathmore's a 10. Um, yeah. Strathmore's a 10. Okay, next is another thing I haven't used on this channel, which is my pride and joy acrylic paint. I've never used oils. I already mentioned that I hate watercolors. Um, I love acrylic paint, though, and I've done... Um, I like doing red landscapes, like the Bob Ross effect, and... Um, I think I've... I've never attempted a portrait, like a for real trying portrait, the realistic portrait. I've done an abstract portrait, but never a um, actual trying to be realistic and good, perfect portrait um, in acrylic. But I went through this dark age where I didn't have any acrylic paint. I ran out and it was like six months without acrylic paint and I hated it because I liked to craft a lot and I didn't have anything to paint so I had so many unfinished products, and I was so mad because I was using this Crayola, like, scraping off the edges acrylic paint. So when I got this, wow, camera fell, um, I was incredibly happy, and I've used them all the time. I think the only thing is the packaging of the paints, where you have to turn them, you're squeezing the paint out because you have to grab the bottle and squeeze. I think that's just a problem with, in general, tubes of paint, but... I absolutely love these Arteza, I didn't even mention the brand yet, Arteza <laughs> 60 Acrylic Colors um, Premium. I don't even know if you can see that well, but yeah, hopefully you can. And obviously there's great color selection, I mean, these are um, blah, blah, the where it says pearl and the gold and silver and just incredible um, uh, chromes and metallics and bright, vivid colors, and once I finally studied the color wheel, I figured out how to mix them better recently, and I did, in fact, a Starry Night Red in Red, so I called it Starry Day, or uh, Starry Inferno. I don't have a picture of that currently, but hopefully I can show it off in a video at some point. Um, but yeah, I just really, ugh, the camera keeps swelling when I do this. The... <laughs> Arteza 60 acrylic colors. If you're ever looking for acrylic uh, paint that is high quality, but not too, too expensive, because this, I believe, wasn't too, too bad. I would have to check again, and I'll link it below. I'll link all the materials that I, that are my favorites, obviously, and most used in uh, the description. So, yes, and this I would rate 9. I would, name, I would give it a 9, because of the bottles, just, ugh. I would lose acrylic colors just because I can't open it. That just may be because I suck at opening things. I don't know. Point is, I'll give these a 9. So, yeah. Okay, so this should have probably been at the start of the video because I use these in every video. I'm sure you've seen for like the first five videos, I've been using the same pencil. And I just wanted to mention these. These are literally the cheap mechanical pencils. And I'm pretty sure like Super Ray Dizzle and them have gone over this already. But... You don't need expensive pencils. The one expensive um, mechanical pencil that I ever used, yeah, this thing I got from Michaels. Um, I got all this from Michaels, let's be honest, except for this. I probably got like 
it should be or something. But this, this, this. This broke. <laughs> now I, I I will take responsibility for breaking this. And it's probably not the most professional mechanical pencil. I'm sure there are mechanical pencils out there that are professional and expensive for a reason. But I'm just saying, like, if you've seen Super Ray Dizzle's channel, she uses these. And she makes artwork way better than mine. And if I'm already using this, and I'm making decent artwork, it, these are fine, okay? They're fine. And for that reason... I'm gonna give these a 10 because, oh, well, I guess 9.5, whatever, just because I've, maybe there are mechanical pencils that are better, but honestly, I don't see the need for them. These are fine. They're, they're really good pencils, and when I want something, when I'm drawing on canvas, mostly to make myself feel fancier, because I feel like my sketches are always better on canvas, and then I use my amazing acrylic paint, um, the, I use this just, um, I think I have them right here. Hold on. Hold on. Do I? Yes, I do. Okay. The Tikon Deroga World's Best Pencil. Yes, those two. They they work. And then these ones, obviously, they're the same, but I didn't have the box for them, so I would just show you this one. But they're just 0 0.7 lead. You can do anything with these. They don't, it doesn't matter what pencil you have. It doesn't matter really at all. So, uh, 9.5, 9.5, but I'm going to say 10 on both because that's my opinion, and you can come at me for it, I don't care. So, 10, yeah. Okay, next is an art supply again, haven't used, and I don't have the original box for it, so I'm just going to show this swatch box <laughs> that I made it. Um, yeah, this is a mess, but... I think these are, okay, Stedler, got it, got it, got it, got it, okay, charcoal, <laughs> yes, charcoal, um, this is just a mess, but, these, Stedler Mars Lumograph charcoal, this is 2B, um, white, <laughs> titanium white, um, not gonna do that again, 6B and 4B, 4B, um, and then we have just a, uh, I don't remember what this is called, so I'm just going to call it a tortellini. I know that's not the term for it, but I forgot what they were called. So, and apparently you can actually sharpen these. I don't know if it actually helps, but I, apparently you can. So, these, I love these. I really like this charcoal. I haven't used any other charcoal, so I'm going to have to give it a 9.5 again. Which, I'm giving pretty high ratings on these, but again, this is my favorite stuff. So, I guess, to be fair, I'll give it a 9. I'll give it a 9 because sometimes they don't work that well for me, and I don't know if that's because of my skill level or the actual product. It's hard to decipher that pretty well, but I would say, you know, pretty decent. And I have this, which is another version of the Dua Lipa um, drawing. And I know you're probably like, oh my god, you really like Dua Lipa? No, not necessarily. I mean, I do. I mean, I don't listen to her music that often, though. But the point is... <laughs> I had this drawing, and someone told me that I should do it all in charcoal, since I'd already drawn the eyebrows in graphite. And then I made another version, because I wanted to do, uh, colored in. So, yeah. And I, th and I use these, obviously. And so, I really like charcoal when I'm in the mood to do charcoal. So I haven't really practiced in it, but I really like it still, and I really like this. So I guess I'm gonna give it probably an 8. I'm gonna be fair, I'm gonna give it an 8. You're probably not going to find much below an 8 on, on this list because it is my most used supplies. So basically my favorite supplies, you know? So, let me put this back up. Okay. Oh, and I just wanted to mention something about the acrylic paint because I feel like I kind of underwhelmed it even in that 10 minutes of explaining it. Um... But, I did a glass version, or not, it wasn't glass though, this is plastic, okay? I'm not even going to pretend. This is plastic. I use this acrylic paint for all you anime lovers out there. This is, um, 
What's his face? I don't know. Shoto, uh, his first name's Shoto. I don't even remember. I haven't watched this show in a while, but I really liked, um, this character, so I did a glass painting, but this is just plastic, which proves you can do it with plastic. So, I actually have a big, big piece of plastic that I'm gonna, that I really want to do a painting like this on, but it's gonna take a while, and I don't know if I want to. I might use this paper I'm using as a background right now, as a matter of fact, to do my sketch on, but point is, acrylic paint, yes, just wanted to emphasize that, that's gonna be the first, probably the first thing on the description list, so there's, okay, I think this is the last thing on my list, um, okay, maybe not the last thing, I think there are, no, it's not the last thing, okay, so, first of all, these, I took them out of their original packaging, but I'm just gonna pull them out for this, this is my Mario, I love this. I love this so much. Um, Mario, uh, pencil holder. It can also be a pot. It's great. It's from Target. I'll link. I might link it. I don't know. It's just great. Love it. Um, these are just, you might see in these, but these are pens. <laughs> I really like drawing with pens. These are just the, um, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Dang it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. These are the, you really can't see that, Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0 0.7. These are incredible. I got these for maybe journaling or just when I wanted to doodle something because I didn't have pens to doodle with because I didn't want to use my Arteza that I was wanting to use for more serious illustration. So I have these and I like these. They're Amazing. I really like these. And that's why they belong in my Mario jar. So, that's right. I like this a lot. like those a lot. Um, so I would rate those a 7.5 or an 8. 7.5 or 8. So there you go. I did say you wouldn't get below uh, an 8, but... I'm going to be fair because those obviously are not the high-end pens, but you know what? I'm going to give them an 8. 8.2. 8.2. Because those are good. Yeah. Next, we have a pretty much cult classic for most artists on YouTube. And probably just in general, but... Um, this is the Jelly Roll <laughs> White Pen. I love this. You can probably see me using this in almost all of my videos. Um, I haven't used any others. I've been using, I, I tried to use whiteout in the Sailor Moon video. I had to choose a different coloring page. That's, that was, that was the bloopers. But this is the 08, but I, this was the first Jelly Roll pen in it. And I got it like, oh geez, like three years ago, probably like give or take. Um, and it's still, it's still here. Granted, I don't use it in all my artwork, but I've been using it a lot lately, and it's still got plenty of ink. Like, come on. Plenty of ink. I don't know why I'm swatching these products on myself, but that's a norm. That's a norm for me. And I would I would rate the Jelly Roll, considering I haven't... Most of these I haven't compared to anything else. I just kind of jump into a product that I've seen is good. I just watch a lot of reviews. So I would give that a 9.4. Yeah, sounds like those people on the skateboarding championships. But anyways, moving on. Then we have another, uh, is this Uniball? No, that's Jelly Roll. This is a Uniball Gold. This was like, I had like a couple dollars left that I wanted to spend at Michael's. And so I have, look at how pigmented that is. Like, I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's very pigmented. I just opened it. Like, sometimes you have to like... Anyways, this, I don't use in most videos. I used it on like my first video, but this, this is another classic. I think it'll always be a cult classic of mine just because it's really good. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna abuse my white scene right here, but like, and obviously it smears because pins smear, get over it, but I'm gonna get this an 8.5 because it's beautiful. I love it. So there we go. Okay, the last thing, this is a last thing I promise. 
kneaded erasers, and these pencil toppers. Okay, hear me out. These ne this kneaded eraser, it leaves graphite. That's how long I've been using it. It's sticky, but anyways. <laughs> it's um, incredible. I love this kneaded eraser. I use it to get out the lines that I don't want to be seen under my coloring and line art. And this, I will use these to their last breath and have them. Like, I have this, look at these. I've been using these for years. I use these until they are nothing, until they are a particle of dust that I breathe in around my art room. Th these are incredible. And I'm too lazy to go and get more, but these are just awesome. I don't know why I'm putting this back in here. But, yes, these are good. These are good. So, let me get that. I hate eraser shavings because that's the only thing that corrupts my desk. Oh, and the these, 10. These are 10. Again, this is all my opinion, so rage in the comment section if you want to, but these are 10. The need erasers, 9.5. 9.7. 9.7. rating things if you can tell, but yeah. So that was the last of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so I uh, hopefully will be doing a sketchbook tour or a live stream of like a sketch with me. I'll either be doing a live stream or a sketchbook tour. So if you want, just tell me what you want. I can't put up polls yet because I don't have a thousand subscribers. Hint, hint. Again, I'll use watercolor if you give me a thousand subscribers. Point is, um, yeah, if you would just let me know what y'all want to see. And um, yeah, so before this becomes 30 minutes of your time, 